Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 8th of June. And as usual on a Friday, I'm going to go and look at a potential longer term swing. So very briefly in our members area for our stock signals service, our members get the choice of potential long and short fifth wave trade on the weekly, daily and six minute time frame stochastic long trades and stochastic short trades you can see down there on the right hand side so in the long fifth wave trades uh, you can see we go back quite a long way every single day signals are in there and we today on the 8th of june members simply click on the image there and download the spreadsheet so the spreadsheet for today looks like this on the 8th of June again we're on the weekly time frame because we want a longer term swing uh, and I've chosen AVY Avery Denison core for a potential long uh, fifth wave move on a weekly time frame so let's have a look at the chart so first of all this is the five-year weekly chart and for those that have our Elliott wave indicator suite this is the ninja trader version by the way um, but we do produce it for the Thinkorswim trade station and multi chart platforms at the moment. So, right at the beginning, here we've got these lows. Uh, even if we isolate our wave count, our Elliott wave indicator suite automatically labels this wave counts and the corrections here. And as you can see, really, sort of December last year was the start of this really big move. We've got the wave one, the wave two, and then the big impulse leg wave three. And now we've had a substantial wave four. So let's pull back and have a look at this. So first of all, just to go through the filters on our stock signals membership. First of all, the wave four is pulled back into our automated amber zone there. The amber zone is an 80% probability. If it finds support in there, it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here in blue. The second filtration is the 535 oscillator. This is pulled back between 90 and 140% during this fourth wave, which is a really good sign. And then thirdly, we can see the stochastic at the bottom here is pulled back against the false breakout dots in our Elliott Wave indicator suite here. The, uh, the false breakout dots indicate a really strong bullish move. Now when the stochastic pulls back against there into the oversold zone, the, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish momentum. It's like an elastic band if you like. So with that stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone, the 535 between 90 and 140 and the wave 4 pulling back into one of our prob probability zones, that starts to set up a really good high probability fifth wave move on AVY and the weekly. So then it's just quite a simple process. We've got to keep the, the entry simple for this. This is a weekly time frame, remember. We can be quite conservative with the entry here. So stop loss is just below the wave four low there. So around about 101.43. Now with the entry, We've got this doji here. I'm going to have to move that slightly because you can't see there. Uh, we've got this doji. So we had this indecision doji. This is a week, remember. This is a weekly time frame uh, here and made that high there around about 111.57. So this was an attempt to move away from the wave four, but failed and pulled back down again. This current week that we're in, we've got another big indecision doji here. So we are see, we do seem to be finding some sort of support, but we need a catalyst, maybe earnings, uh, something like that, to push it back into that bullish momentum. So conservative entry here, 112, 17, something like that. Really, really conservative, above the whole $112 mark way outside the 6-4 moving average high, which is the green moving average high here, which is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite, and used for the starting point of our conservative entry strategy. Um, but then obviously we want to get above the whole $112 and the, the high of this doji. So 112.17 is the entry. And you can see the risk to reward there is 1 to 1.6 into our automated target zone. So we've got a target of around about 130 there. Uh, really good risk to reward 
sensible entry. We don't have to look for uh, anything else really. It's a weekly time frame, it's a longer term swing. It could take up to you know, anything from nine to 30 weeks, this sort of move. Uh, but the main thing is we've got a conservative entry. We can fire and forget. We've got the order on, stop loss uh, and let it go. So that's it for today and for this week. Have a great weekend and I'll speak to you all on Monday.